would talk about breasts in my house growing up. I can't even remember my first bra, my mom taking me for my first bra. There was nothing about puberty. Like, I don't remember any talk about it at all. My best friend, we used to compare our breasts, actually. And uh, she called mine footballs. <laughs> I always had this funny fantasy of, like, just cut them off. Ah, you know, get rid of them. They're such a burden, I can't stand them. What are they, like 10, 20 million pounds? They're heavy. Well, my, my partners say they're my best kept secrets. <laughs> it's like, you're asking the question, when's the first time I exposed my breast? And I'm kind of like, uh, John, Bill, uh, who, who, who got it first? <laughs> the whole second base thing, I didn't get it. It's like, okay, he's got his hand on my boob. Why? When I first revealed my breast, I pretended I was asleep, and I let him look. And I loved it, but I couldn't possibly. A girl was not allowed. A Catholic girl on top of it, yo! Generally, I feel when, you know, there's this type of thing coming at me, I have to brace. Here is the great unveiling. So, yes, okay, fine. Ah! It's vulnerable. Showing your breast, I feel very vulnerable right now that I'm going to. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to have a zipper so I can slowly unzip. I feel my breasts are beautiful, they're lively, they're bouncy, they're healthy, they're fun. <laughs> I can honestly say to you, this may be the first time in my life my breasts and I are befriending each other. And if I die in the next 24 hours, we did something really great. <laughs> I'm a whole woman as I sit here with you.